Welcome to SEA's True Colours Art and Design Exhibition 2016. We're back at the Ulster Museum for the fifth year and this year we have artwork from over 70 students from schools across Northern Ireland. Let's go and have a chat to some of our students. about your pieces here that you have exhibited at True Colours? Okay, so basically my theme this year was beauty and I chose to do the three big portraits to describe the ugly side of beauty. So as you can see here, I have two portraits of my sisters. Um, one is to show how um, young girls try hard to look older with beauty. Um, how older girls get insecure to live up to the standard of beauty and then how animals are cruel are tested um, cruelly with cosmetics, so that's the basic idea. And Roisin, are you hoping to use um, art in the next step in your career? Well, I'm studying psychology at Queen's at the minute, so like I'm going to finish that and then go on and try to get into art therapy, because I feel like I could really use my skills to help young people and like older generations, because I feel like art's something that like everyone should like be able to experience and like through your creative aspects and like all the different parts of it and I just feel like it's really like something everyone should experience and I really enjoy it. Can you tell me a bit about the inspiration behind these pieces? Yeah I was inspired by chiaroscuro mainly which is like technique used by Rembrandt and Caravaggio like classical artists and how the mood they create from like light light lighting um, figures coming from a dark background and it's a really interesting mood that they create very like very <laughs> dark yeah. and so, like somber mood. Yeah. I can see there the main painting um, of the lady can you tell me who that is? Yeah it's my granny. And how does she feel about her picture being uh, <laughs> exhibited here at True Colours? I think she likes it. Have you been impressed with what you've seen tonight? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you don't have to look at the pieces behind me just as a sample of the quality that is on show in this display. Every year we see a range of mediums, uh, expressions, looking at uh, different items from different angles, uh, really exploring art in its full range, obviously supported by the teachers, but it really is a talent of the young people of Northern Ireland that's on show here tonight. Well, my project was based on These Are A Few of My Favourite Things, uh, the song from The Sound of Music and one of the lyrics in that, I worked through in my project the, through a lot of the lyrics, but the, for my final piece I did Wild Geese That Fly With The Moon On Their Wings. So I did some work on top of feathers and with feathers to make like sketchy drawings, um, which came to this. Um, and there's writing underneath, because it kind of tells a story like illustrations sort of should. I'm so happy to be included in True Colours. It was my dream from GCSE, so I'm so happy in my AS work. So. With the self-portrait of Rembrandt being upstairs in the Ulster Museum, how does it feel having your artwork exhibited in the same space as his? Seriously, it's just being 17 and having your artwork in, in the museum at the same time as that, it's just phenomenal. The whole idea was um, layering faces, so it went a bit deeper than that, but my influence and stuff was Picasso a bit at the start. But basically it's sort of just... I felt like so many people make up our own perspectives in, the, in today's like. So whenever I speak to anyone, they're always like broadening my perspective. So I feel like everyone influences me and everything like, creates me in a way. So it's sort of layering different faces of people who meant something, I guess, to me in a way. And just sort of going with where I thought I would go, let it go. Hi, Patty. Thanks for joining us here at True Colours. Um, first of all, um, what do you think of the level of artwork that's been exhibited um, this evening? Well, as always, I mean, there's a great variety, great deal of skill, great deal of passion, and a lot of work. So, I mean, I think we've got to take our hats off to the, the pupils and or the young artists and uh, those that are guiding and the teachers. Did you have to do much research for the piece? Yeah, certainly. I looked at contextual artists that had worked specifically with Northern Irish materials. It was very 
important to me that it really did reflect Belfast as a city and not London or just an archetypal city. It was very important to me that it was definitely Belfast. Um, so I looked at the work of uh, embroidery artist Karen Nickel, who used uh, old linen scraps from old Irish linen mills, and then I was inspired by that to use to use the heavyweight linen just to sort of hark back to our heritage here. Darcy, firstly, congratulations. This is your third year exhibiting the True Colours. You've been here for GCSE, AS and A2. That's a wonderful achievement. Yes, I think I've been very lucky with it. So, yeah, no, it's been really good. And seeing everyone else's work is like so good coming here every year, yeah. getting ideas. <laughs> That's brilliant, Darcy. Are you using your art now that you've left school? Yeah, I'm at Belfast College of Art, um, studying graphic design and illustration. So it's really good fun. It's it's definitely out of my comfort zone because it's way more graphic, and I'm used to sort of all the elaborate swirly whirly bits. But yeah, no, it's been really good. We hope you've enjoyed some of the fantastic work that's been on show here at the Ulster Museum by some of Northern Ireland's most talented young artists. True Colours runs from the 15th of January until the 22nd of February. Admission is free and open for all. We hope you come down and enjoy the exhibition.